Hello friends, welcome to Vidya's cooking channel. Today I'll be showing you how to prepare a traditional South Indian dessert that can be served any time of the day and we prepare this especially for Diwali. We call this as Attika Palaganam. Attika meaning fig and the dessert tastes like figs in it but it really does not have any fig. It is very nice and soft and creamy and very tasty. So let's get started with the process. So here I washed and cleaned and also soaked black gram dal. Rinse the black gram dal at least thrice in water. There should not be any murky water. Then add fresh water and soak the black gram dal for one hour. After the black gram dal has doubled in volume, as you can see it's doubled in volume, then drain this. There should not be any moisture. Allow it to drain in a colander for 15 minutes. You can see the dal is dry, but it's still moist and wet. So at this point, we'll add the black gram dal in small batches to a mixer jar and we'll add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of water and we'll grind this into a smooth paste. You would have seen in my Medu Vada video how we grind the black gram dal. So there are many tips in my Medu Vada video also how we grind it. So do follow that also. If you want to prepare Medu Vada and the, this particular dish, you will have to follow the same step. So now I've ground the black gram dal and I've reserved. I've also prepared coconut milk ahead of time. So here my dal is nicely ground. To the dal I'll be adding tiny amount of salt and we'll nicely combine the dal till the salt is well incorporated in the dal batter. So the batter is ready. I'll prepare a cardamom sugar for my coconut milk. So I've added sugar and cardamom to a mixer jar and I've ground this into a powder format. Many people are asking me about my prestige mixer jar. So my prestige mixer is working well. As you can see, I've ground the powdered sugar in my prestige. So now I've combined the powdered sugar and elaichi in the coconut milk. I'll reserve that. Here I've also heated a wok with enough oil and ghee. If you want, uh, you can add only ghee or you can prepare this dish with uh, half the amount of oil and half the amount of ghee. All the ingredients used in this recipe friends will be listed in the description box below this video or you can click the i-card above this video which will direct you to my blog. In the blog I've posted a detailed recipe. So step wise I've given you tips also. Now I'll start preparing the Attika Palagaram. So I've taken tiny amount of that batter and using my thumb I'll just pinch the batter and uh, drop it on the hot oil. So once I've added one batch of this uh, Attika I will uh, fry this on low to medium flame till it turns golden brown in color. Gently keep flipping these fritters every 2 minutes and fry it on uh, low to medium flame. Don't place it on uh, high flame. So here you can see the uh, atikas are starting to turn light golden brown in color. So gently flip it and fry it. All the ingredients used in this recipe friends will be listed in the description box below this video or you can click the i-card above this video which will direct you to my blog. In the blog I posted a detailed recipe. Also like me and follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter friends. All my social media handle links will also be in the description box below this video. I might do live videos there also. So here you can see my atikas have fried till golden brown in color. I have drained it from the oil and reserved it on a tissue paper. Now I'll start preparing the second and third batch in the same manner. You have to gently drop this batter in the hot oil and fry it. Because the batter is nice and fluffy, once we start frying it, it is doubling in volume. As you can see, it is nicely puffed up and it is fried well. So always follow the step for Medu Vada and prepare the Medu Vada also in the same manner. Your uh, Medu Vadas and this particular dessert will turn out excellent. So now you can see my atikas have fried. I did three batches and I prepared this for two to three people. So this is sufficient for two to three people. I'll post all the ingredients, all the measurements in the description box below this video. 
many people are asking me about my prestige mixer grinder and uh, how i use it i'll also post a detailed video uh, about the usage of the prestige mixer grinder in my upcoming videos so now you can see my atikas have fried very well i'll be draining this from the hot oil and we will allow this to drain on a tissue paper first and then add it to the coconut milk if you add it directly to the coconut milk uh, there will be a lot of oil residue on the coconut milk and it won't look good and it won't taste good also so once all the oil has uh, completely drained i have added the atikas to the coconut milk and we will allow this to soak for 1 hours time place this in the refrigerator cover it and place it in the refrigerator and serve your atika palagaram i did garnish my atika palagaram with some pistachios and cashew nuts that's completely up to your choice if you enjoyed watching this video recipe friends do like comment and don't forget to subscribe i'll be seeing you soon with the next recipe video this is vidya lakshmi thank you so much for watching bye bye